Hey y'all, it's Ray. How's everyone doing today? It's officially the 7th of the new year, 2021 January. We we officially made it, y'all. We made it. I I hope everyone who went out for the holidays had a blast. Uh, I know 2020 was tough in general, but I'm glad we made it. I'm glad everyone else made it. Uh, you know, we're here in the new year. Um, so I, I love y'all. I'm glad y'all had made it back safely and sound. So I kind of just want to briefly explain what's happening here. At the time, I'm trying to log in. Um, the seven-day bond ended on the 18th. And uh, what that meant was that I, I ended up overworking myself on the whole series as a whole. So I, I definitely would appreciate you know, smashing that like button and subscribing if this is kind of the content y'all want in general. I I don't generally overwork myself in this sort of way, but I did and I ended up missing uh, some things and I ended up combining some episodes and a couple of episodes that they kind of sound really close apart where like a lot of the times I might sound exactly tired. So I kind of sound more masculine than I sound feminine because I can't really control my voice very well especially when I'm half asleep um so just I just I I, I didn't like the original recording because I was dead tired when I made this and I just didn't like the quality that I put in for it uh so I'm kind of doing it right now while I'm you know wide awake right now in the distant future here <laughs> um but yeah I I love y'all y'all are amazing I, I really would not have gotten this far without y'all watching my content, enjoying it, and enjoying the whole series as a whole. It really, as a content creator, it really, it really makes me feel happy to see, you know, everybody liking and commenting on everything, and I can just go ahead and respond back. Um, yeah, that I, I really love interacting with y'all. It, it really means a whole lot to me. Um, again, if you're looking for people to game with, we have a Discord. I'll have that link below. Uh, feel free to, uh, you know, let me know what was your favorite episode. What, what did you enjoy the most out of this whole series? And uh, honestly, if you have any tips or tricks you want me to try on this account, go ahead and leave those in the comments comment section below because uh I, I i really i really would like to know what y'all would like me to do f further on this account uh episodes like this aren't going to come out very often i i think as far as where we're going we're pretty much completed the only thing i really have to do now is actually get 99 fire making and then i think i'm gonna go for 99 magic maybe do slayer i don't know it depends I, I, I don't know what we're going to do with the account, really, as a whole. I, I, I just want to see what y'all are interested in doing. Um, I, I, I am... I, I was really sad. You know, I was crying tears because, you know, when Raz passed away, this came at a really rough time. And this was for me to have closure with his death. Um, and it meant, it meant a lot to me. It really did. I really did and I, I I'm a lot better now I'm, I'm definitely a lot more mentally sane now that I come to terms with his passing but as as a content creator with him and collaborating with him the, I I enjoyed my time with this series as y'all can tell I really did it it's amazing I I am sad that we weren't able to do it together but you know what here it is you know, we ended pretty well, you know, 79 quest points, 574 total level. You know, I got 50 defense, 53 magic, 38 runecrafting, 45 HP, 33 crafting, 36 thieving, 32 uh, agility, 50 woodcutting, 50 fire making, 37 cooking, 40 fishing, 50 smithing and mining. I, I just... There's, I achieved everything that I ever really wanted to do for the most part. In summary, Raz was just a normal average Joe. He streamed, he worked, he took care of his son, 
He built a community where his friends and strangers that would eventually become his, his friends or his family or just mere acquaintances from all walks of life, whether you were gay, straight, or trans, rich or poor, it didn't really matter. If you were a good person and you weren't a douchebag, then you were basically welcomed in that community. And I think Raz would be really happy to see where we have come as a whole. And I think he'd be extremely happy to realize that even the communities he built and he created over the years are still there, strong as ever, still together. Raz, this whole series was for you. It, even though I was the one that suggested it, it was for you because I, I saw what going for 99 fire making was doing for you on your current iron series it was killing you it was killing the fun out of the game it was becoming a wreck for you and you were you were not having fun streaming you had to end up breaking taking breaks multiple breaks to stream you know things like skyrim and you know what that's all okay sometimes you got to take break a content creator friend of mine once told me that, Ray, you may not always like the content that you put out, but sometimes you gotta mix it and mash up that content that you want, right? It's okay to take breaks and play what you enjoy playing rather than what you prefer to have on your audience. Without further ado, Raz, I love you. We all love you. We all want know what's for the best for you. And we hope your son, Mason, grows up and gets to college, does all the things he wants to do with his life. If he doesn't want to go to college, then he doesn't have to go to college. He just does what he wants to do with life. I, I have no doubt in my mind that he will end up doing the things that he wants to do that is going to bring him the most enjoyment in the game. Without further ado, bro, sleep well i'll see you again in the afterlife and to everybody else enjoy the video what i'm supposed to be 35 agility are you freaking kidding me dude 20 courses later and i still okay hang, hang on hang on a second we're, we're we're getting this level we're getting this level we are getting this level right here right here now there we go. 35 freaking agility. Let's go. And here we are. 40 agility. What? Did I really? No. Are you kidding me? 122 agility experience left. And apparently I, 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 I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say, dude. I'm so freaking confused. What is happening? I, I'm starting to not understand this game at all. I I, I don't know what to say. All right, well, 40, 40 agility. Okay, I'm gonna stick around for two more levels and then I'm gonna go to Barbarian Outpost and knock out the last eight agility levels that I need for the account. And then I can move on to thieving. All right, <laughs> we're finally here, dude. We're finally here. 42 agility. 630 total level. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to freaking um, Barbarian Outposts. Hello, comrade. I, I, uh, I, uh, I want to come through this gate, comrade. Let me, let me through. Only barbarians. I, I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to disagree. I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say I look like a barbarian either, but. You know, you know what? I don't think it really matters. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Lo looks can be deceiving, comrade. I, I am in fact barbarian. All right, all right. You know what? I forgot about this. So, uh, I, I, I guess comrade will, uh, will go get drunk for you, dude. What's on first on our stop? Holy frick, that's a lot of ends, dude. Ah, uh, let's get to it. Cause if anything knows any better, Riley here. She knows how to drink more than anybody here in this Finally world. here at their last location, just Blurberry. So we have to get smashed from Blurberry. Okay, 
Where is Blurberry? There, there he is. There he is. There he is. Come on, dude. You, you can tell that I haven't been here before. Um, I think. Okay, so he swipes my card. Can I? You are too drunk to be able to read the bar cold call. Well, okay, I. I, uh, uh, I, I suppose that we are barbarians now. I mean, if, I mean, maybe, maybe not in practice, but we are definitely barbarians in spirit. Because there's really nothing else I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm drunk as hell, dude. Just, yeah, smash all my vials for me. All right, all right. Can we officially do the agility course i you know i'm be honest with y'all like i have got to be like the first person to actually do this as an agility training method since 2008 if we're being honest here like nobody else would do this agility course because you don't get any freaking marks of grace from doing it but it is much better xp per hour than me doing uh, freaking Varrock rooftop. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing this, I think. But, Jesus Christ, for an XP method, dude, we unlocked an achievement. And we, uh, I don't know. But, uh, we'll see y'all. Okay, finally, dude. 45 agility with only 5 more levels to go. How many laps did it take me to get this level from 42? 103 laps. Dude, I'm freaking brain dead. I am so freaking brain dead. Yeah, as you can see, I kind of like went freaking Bob Ross on this on this bish right here. I kind of put like some tiles down because I got freaking brain dead. I wanted to know where to auto path. So I, I basically did this. It, it works like this. But uh, I'll see y'all in five more levels. Alright y'all, this should be the last course I need for 50 agility, if my math is correct. 200, no, 200, 361 agility courses. You know your brain dead as hell and bored as hell when you start making tile markers for every single freaking mother freaking god knows what. But that is amazing. 50 agility coming in clutch. I can finally now use a new agility course. Okay. I am going to go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to do more of the agility grind because uh, my OCD and Asperger's tells me that I, I can't leave this at 361. I got to round this off to 400. So I'll see y'all in 400 uh, Barbarian Outpost Agility Courses. I love y'all. See you soon. <laughs> and there we are, y'all. 400 freaking uh, Agility Courses later at the Barbarian Outpost. With 4.6k XP away from 51. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, take a little break, and... And we'll go ahead and do the thieving grind. Oh my god, I'm about dead here, dude. Alright, here we are. I consolidated my bank from the Iron Dragons and Ogress Warriors grind. And I got myself a rune chain body from the Champions Guild for 50k. I think this is going to be my inventory setup. I am borrowing uh, super anti-poisons from my main. Uh, I know technically I'm not supposed to be doing that. But you know what? Screw it. I can't be asked to waste so much food because all I have for food options is lobsters. Let's go see if we can find the, uh, what do you call it? it? Looks like still bots? Active bots? Oh, here we are. Okay, let's get started. All right. This should, ah, there we are. There we are. 40 thieving. 10 more levels to go. Nice. Let's get to it. Twenty nine XP away from <laughs> forty one thieving, which will give me access to the next next level. Uh, apparently, I don't have it. This should give it to me. There we go, forty one. So we can go ahead and skip this location now, and we can go on to the next 
room up. That's not the right door. That's not the right door. Is this the right door? SMH with myself, bro. That's not the right door. Okay, cool. Nice, 45 thieving. Five more levels to go. Let's get it. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, about to die of poison here, uh, apparently. <laughs> Full inventory. Oh my god. No staminas, no energy, no anti-poison. Oh my god, dude. This is so freaking scuffed, dude. I'm not even freaking kidding y'all. And we're only, <laughs> we're only 1.5k XP away from 47 thieving. You know what? I was brain dead for when I got that, but you know what? Congrats. 50 thieving. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this, uh, freaking, I, I don't know, freaking, what do you call it? Tomb raiding. And then we're gonna go ahead and sell our loots. And, and then, uh, I'll figure out what I'll do from there. Alright. First, uh, first inventory. Give me the money. Alright. 2.9k. Not bad, not bad. All right, what's in my second inventory? How much money are we getting? How much money are we getting? All right, 6.3K now. Let's go. All right, third inventory coming, coming to mama. Come on, give me my third inventory. Yeah, how much are we up to now? All right, 9.8K. Let's keep increasing this cash stack, boys. Uh, and girls and other other full all right where is my fourth cash stack come on give me some money I, I i need to increase my cash stack please nice 13k all right okay there's one more left and i think we're gonna go to rogue's den okay last cash stack if you're wondering about this uh flax it's because i got it from the big kiva random event it was on the floor and it's been there for a while and i just did not could not be asked to pick it up, but apparently it did not despawn after like 10 minutes. But hey, 18k, let's go. Oh, I didn't bring my freaking games amulet. Oh my god, dude. I gotta run back before we can go to the rogues den. Mama wants full rogues, so that's what we're gonna work on. That bloody oh, mini game. Y'all, I uh, I uh, just realized why I didn't bring a games amulet because, uh, Thorpe Games Amulet is a freaking teleport and Ray is like low-key a really cute pleb so like I just I just kind of freaking don't know dude I don't know you're gonna have to forgive me it'd be like that it'd be like that
Okay. Damn it. What the frick? That's so unlucky. Oh my freaking lord, dude. Nothing. 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 Yes. Yes. Nothing. Trash. Trash. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Oh my god, dude. I don't know why that I struggled so much. I guess RNG just was not in my favor, dude. But here we are. The full rogues equipment. Let's see. Mask. Top. Trousers. Boots. And gloves. Oh my god. I can find. <laughs> I finally have a full freaking rogues outfit. Which is gonna help with thieving nights later on to 99. I am freaking done with this. I'm leaving this mini game. I'm moving on to the next thing. We're gonna go do a quest. Let's get to it. I can start this quest by speaking to Denimus, Dim, Dimethius East and Varrock to complete this quest. I need 40 mining. 40 crafting! Holy! Alright, y'all. Alright. I, I said something in episode 1. And, uh, you know what that was. The only way to train crafting. What was it? All I know how is to kill cows. Holy frick, dude. Alright, let's go kill some cows, dude. Oh, also, just in case if no one believes me that I'm killing cows, I'm gonna kill about 500 cows. I'm not- I don't know the exact number, so I'm assuming I need to kill 500. Remember the t remember the total magic level. 55,557 XP. So we're gonna keep killing cows until we get it. Alright, this should be... Yep. 54 HP all. Level 59.15 combat level. Looking kind of clean, dude. Just in case if no one believed me that I killed 500 cows. Well, there's 33.k magic XP. Uh, I might have killed a goblin or two. Oh, hello, pirate, pirate Arnav. Uh, uh, it's it's been a while since I last seen you. Yeah, I'll I'll unlock your chest. Uh, ring, coins, ring, a gold bar. Trash. I'll keep it. It's a good memento too. Um, to be honest, sometimes the casualties of war for cowhides might be a little bit supreme. Uh, not really my fault, but I, yeah, I, I'm sorry for that goblin. I, I don't know whatever came over me, man. When you get into the pixelated gains, man, you just, you have no idea what the hell you're doing. So I have 484 in the bank right now. I only need 16 to, fifth, to five, 500. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up, y'all. And, uh, here we go. Yo, in hindsight, you know, I'm vegan, so like, I, I, this, this hurts me as much to kill these cows for the crafting XP, as much as it hurts, you know, any, any meat eater, uh, watching me kill them, because I'm not picking up the, uh, I'm not picking up the beef to cook it, bro. I, I, I can't be asked, dude, I don't, I don't eat meat, bro. I, I don't. Like, Ray, Ray is legitimately vegan in real life. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, but anyway, so he, I got my 500 cow hides. I think it's gonna cost me 10k to turn them into hard leather bodies or whatever, uh, in total. So, uh, let's, uh, let's hop to it, y'all. 
All right, this is my last inventory of cowhides. I have mistaken how much GP I needed. I didn't know that it was actually three GP to make hard leather bodies, not 20. And you know what? Sometime, sometimes things don't go out the way that we want them to go and it's okay to, to make big mistakes. It just means that I have more GP in my inventory and 500 hard leather bodies. I don't know if I have enough needle and thread. Let me see here. I have a needle. Do I have thread? Yes, that should be enough thread to to make 500 leather hard bodies. So uh, I guess I will see y'all at the next level up. All right, and 35 crafting has been achieved. All right, only five more levels to go, y'all. Well, uh, okay, this is uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, uh, Apparently, I didn't have enough thread. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go buy some thread. And then I think we'll get the rest of these bodies. Finally here, 40 crafting. We can finally do family crest. Um, I guess I only needed like 493 hard leather bodies. I didn't need to make uh, 500 in total. So, uh, I guess... Sorry, Genflex, I, I blamed you for me needing to kill 500. I, I guess I only need to kill 493. Anyway, uh, we need to consolidate our bank before we continue onwards with this quest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Currently, we have a... What is that? 139,175 uh, coins cash stack. We'll uh, go ahead and consolidate the bank further and then... Uh, get started with our with a uh, family crest Twenty-eight thousand three hundred and forty-eight gold coins. Our new cash stack is up to one hundred sixty-seven thousand four hundred and twenty-three. Nice. That's gonna come in handy when I need to get more death runes for uh, Majorina. So we got four cats here. We kind of have to get rid of the four cats. So uh, let's get on with that. All right, Smokey, you will always be remembered by how Smokey and lousy you were. Ah. <laughs> grumpy, I'm going to miss you, but I'm not going to miss your grumpy attitude. Ashy, yeah, I'm going to miss your cuteness and your uh, slyness. And of course, Sam, not Sammy. I uh, can't be asked. I can't be asked with you. So uh, here we are. We're going to have to sell you off for some death runes. I, uh, I, I'll miss y'all. Y'all are, y'all are a great cat, but, uh, here is 800 death runes coming in clutch. Let's go. Uh, I got to the bank, and, uh, I just saw some people, like, chilling out. E-Wizzy, Bruh Tomato, and Bruh Boots. I'm not really sure what's going on, but they, uh, must be in a clan of some sort. And after I geared up for the quest, apparently this is how the conversation went. Just needed to make a pair for Andy. Zero trade bras, Poggy's bras, bra, my bra, looking sick here like Doric. Later's cuties. Later's cuties. All right, let's get the hell out of here, dude. Let's get started with this quest. Oh, achievement, medium uh, rock task. Oh, that was, Dude, it feels good to have law runes and be able to teleport. Save my tablets, dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm ready to do this quest. Ready to get it done with so we can move on to our final challenge of the account. 
Uh, normally I would be doing the Mage Arena with 70 magic because I want the extra 10 magic defense levels, but that's uh, not to be expected. Wait, 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 the doggo. Doggo, here, let me, let me pet you. You're such a good doggy. You're such a good doggy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. You are. You are. You are. All right. I I love you. I wish I could adopt you, but I can't because Jagex is rude. Uh, but I, I wish you well. So, dude. Uh, yo, why do you live in a dump like this, dude? <laughs> yo, uh, so, uh, where's this quest? Crest, crest, crest. Come on, dude. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you find your uh, your really crappy kids. Let's start off with uh, Camelot, dude, because I can't be asked. I need to get rid of this this fat loots on me. You know, this uh, fat foods because the the guy can't can't cook for himself because he he low key can't get married and he doesn't want to be can't be asked, dude. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize this. Another medium <laughs> task completed, dude. SMH, dude. Oh. All right, where are that? Oh, here he is. Here's Caleb. Come here, Caleb. Yo, bro. I I got to I got to give you this uh this fat loot, dude. Come on, dude. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I got your missing ingredients. Okay, I will get those. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Take take my fat loot. Come on. All right. Thank you so okay. much. Disagreements. Yeah, yeah. Try to stab each other. I got it. Okay. Let's go to the freaking desert. Oh my freaking lord! Is there a diary task for teleporting everywhere? Like, am I just freaking oblivious to this game? I don't, I don't know what to say, dude. I really don't know what to say. All right, cool beans. That was uh, easier than I expected. I thought I was gonna have to rough up the dude, to be honest. Yo, bro. I'm looking for this dude. You look like him because you're being a little bit sus, sus, sus. You're being sus, dude. So let me see what we got to do for you. Apparently I should find a dwarf named Boot who lives somewhere in the mountains and knows where perfect gold is. All right, that'll that'll be easy. So let's teleport to Faldor. Is this also gonna give me a, a dire task? It is, what the frick, dude? Jagex, why, why are you giving out such free easy peasy diary tasks, man? Like, I, I don't understand this game anymore, dude. I really don't. Hello, tall person. Hello, short person. Uh, wait. Uh, I, I chose the wrong option. Uh, yo, I'm looking for high quality gold. Yo, high quality gold? Uh, well, the best you can do for gold that I know of is east of large city of Arduin. Oh my god. Am I gonna freaking die doing this? I, 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 I better not. But here we go. We'll teleport to Arduin. Diary task unlocked. Jesus Christ. I probably should get food. Probably get a little bit of rune armor. Cause uh if I remember this quest correctly, there's there's some mean doggos down there in that dungeon that's gonna probably hurt me. So uh let's gear up. Alright, y'all. I think I'm geared up well enough for this job. We got our cute little rune chain, uh freaking crop top on. We got the full rune armor. Uh, let's let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. All right, so it turns out we needed to push this wall. So everything I did was actually correct. So we push that wall. All right, let's uh, let's go through here. Uh, nice, nice doggos. Uh, doggo, doggo, please, please, doggo. Uh, okay, there's there's one. Uh, can we get can we get the second one, please? Nice, nice doggos, nice doggos. Please, uh, please no hurt me. Please no hurt. Uh, did we get two? We did. Alright. I guess we'll go teleport to Arduin. 
And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll make the uh, perfect items. We use the perfect gold ore. Oh, we gotta do one at a time. Interesting. All right, and then we can make a uh, ruby ring. And then uh, we'll make the ruby necklace. So we got the perfect ring and we got the perfect necklace. Let's go back to Lumbridge. I mean, Al Kareed. <laughs> Al Kareed. And uh, we'll go ahead and give the stuff to to the to the lovely dude who's, uh, you know, in love with someone. So we'll go do that. Oh, random event. Hey, pirate. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you unlock your not lewd chest. Uh, give me a ring. Uh, where's the bull? Bull, bull. Oh, I skipped one. And we go up. Here we go. You gave me a gold ring. SMH, dude. <laughs> SMH. All right, dude. I got your uh, I got your jewelry, dude. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, now, will you tell me where the other dude is? Cause uh, I would. Okay, he's in the wilderness. All right, let's go. Uh, for the viewers watching this, don't actually go to the wilderness. He's not in the wilderness. He's actually in an in near the wilderness. Keep that in mind. Someone splashing from here to there. I didn't know you could actually far cast from that distance with regular spells. Hey, and that's the more you know, dude. That's the more you know. All right, yo, we found, uh, I think we found Einstein, dude. He's legitimately Einstein. Like, look at this dude's freaking head, dude. He's got so many freaking hairs. Ah, uh, wait, was I supposed to give him something? I found Jonathan, he looks very ill. Oh, I need to give him an anti-poison potion. I forgot about this. Just for the viewers at home who don't know this, you can actually come to this guy and decant. Bring a vial and three other vials and you can actually decant them into one dose. Noted, by the way. But we already have one, so I don't really, I didn't really need to do that. But I just wanna let y'all know for those who didn't know, um, because you, because he will take he will basically take everything. Jonathan will take everything. And <laughs> if you have a four dose, three dose, or two dose, and you still wanted the extra doses, dosages, well, too bad because he he took it from you. Uh, so in case you wanted to make a one dose, you can either just, you can manually do it from decantation with uh, that dude in the GE. But we have to give this to him and then he's gonna tell us what we need to do next. So now we use the anti-poison potion on freaking uh, uh, Einstein here, <laughs> aka Jonathan. He's gonna tell us what he needs to do. So where can I find Chronozone? All right. So is he hard to defeat? He probably he really isn't. But uh, so how did you end up getting poison? Well, okay. So uh, let's go. Let's go kill Chronozone for Einstein here, and we will have our last crust. All right, I think we're geared up for this dude. Uh, minus the runes and the inventory setup. Wait, actually, uh, take it back. We, 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 we need to dress down for this occasion. All right, this is much better uh, for an optimal setup. We got our cute uh, blue freaking, uh, I don't know, crop top here. So let's go, because we don't want to risk a whole lot of things. And, uh, oh, should I take an anti-poison potion? I didn't really think about that. All right, here we go. All right, onwards, dude. We gotta go kill the dude. I don't know why, but every time I come into the wilderness, I get like freaking triggered a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why, I just I just happen to. Oh, I'm actually taking a lot of hits trying to do this. All right, so it has to hit. All right, that actually hit. So let's move to water, water blast. All right, that hit. So fire. And then fire, because that'll be it. And then we just go to town. We wait for him to freaking die, and then, uh, you know, we complete the last part of the quest. All right, and we take the crest part, and we teleport back. Oh, I didn't know. The book's powers do not work in the wilderness. Uh, hopefully we don't get PK'd on the way back here then. <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. 
All right, y'all. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. <laughs> I'd be lying if uh, if I didn't say I wasn't nervous because I I really am. Because every time I come to the wilderness, I usually PK someone or I get PK'd while doing something. And if anything, no one hasn't understand yet with this series. I, I tend to get PK'd quite easily because I have no prayer. <laughs> and this is really stressful. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, dude. Let's, uh, see if we can get there safely, though, at least. And there's already a scout here, apparently. Oh, this is stressful. Uh, we can at least start the quest, at least. So, uh, we'll talk to Clodian. Can I fight here, dude? Uh, yes, indeedy. Let, let's go. Okay, let's Wait. Wait, he actually teleports me? <laughs> well, it's good that we think we technically scouted, because, uh, um... What's the mage? I, I'm, I think I'm gonna die here, dude. Uh, let me see if I can run out. <laughs> Holy freak, that's a lot of damage. Um, okay, so we need to find, like, a free world, because I don't want to get PK'd here while doing this, and, uh, we gotta pull the lever chicken out, dude. We gotta, we gotta time out. I didn't think he was gonna teleport me all automatically there that was uh was really unexpected i was not expecting that that quickly god he does so much freaking damage though and this scout is still there all right we got scouted again uh we are in an aussie world this is really bad, but I think we're geared up and ready to go. Uh, hopefully everything works out the way it needs to go. I got a couple brews in case I get like anti-PK. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this works out. Uh, I think they all cast magic. Yeah, okay. So it's perfect. Wow, I apparently he's already weakened? That's, that's, uh, that's unexpected. Okay, this is the last form. Oh, really stressing out here, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough food to kill this dude. I might need to use a, like a higher tier spell, but uh, this is like my best in slot. If I can't finish it off, then I'm gonna have to come back and I'm gonna have to bring the mystic robes. I'd rather not risk it though. Those mystic robes cost a lot from the mages guild. Oh god, dude, that was so freaking stressful. Not even lying. Dude, he's still not dead? Okay, now he's dead. Holy frick, dude. Okay, Mage Arena 1 is officially complete. Now we just have to get our Mage Cloaks and, uh... Oh god, dude. I, I am freaking tripping right now. Not even lying, dude. <laughs> not even lying, dude. Oh my god, dude. So stressful. All right, give me. I want three K. Give me three of each. Oh, we can just actually take. Okay, look at that. Look at. Okay, we don't need that. But look at that. We got the, got the Guthix cape with the sad robes officially. Nice. All right. Well, we'll go get three of each. Cause you know, I, I like, I like having threes. I like having threes. All right, 
Got all three capes. Let's go get our free staff. And we gotta actually buy. I believe I believe he gives us one free staff right off the bat. He hands me an automatically Sardom staff. What the hell? That's so weird. Do you Alright. Um that's weird. Okay, so let me get my cash stack. And then I can go ahead and I can buy. And then I can go ahead and buy the other two staffs. Hopefully we don't die, because these, these staffs are actually worth quite a lot. And I... Okay, that's a weird glitch. Two. Never seen that before. Alright, so we can get the Zamorak staff and the Gothic staff. Really made my broke. 45.3k. Holy frick, dude, that's, that's insane. Alright, so we're going to start off with the salad robes. What does that make my magic accuracy? So... This, the Staff of Fire was my best in slot. Brought me up to, okay, let's take it back. So this was my best in slot mage. When I equip the Guthix Staff, what is it actually, it actually it decreases my magic accuracy. Does it also decrease the defense? Yeah, it does, holy frick. Then we equip the Cape, brings it back up a little bit. This is gonna be stressful, but we will have to get to it. All right, and that is the Guthix Claws of Guthix completed. <laughs> Ran out of all of my sharks, by the way. Oh, that was so stressful, dude. Okay, so one spell down, two more to go. <laughs> I am freaking sweating, but we got it. We got it. We also used all of our sharks as well, trying to complete this one. But that is, that is two spells down. There's only one more to go. I am so excited. All right, finally done. Oh my God, dude, I can stop stressing now. All three spells have been mastered. Holy frick, dude. That is such an accomplishment for the account, especially at 59 combat with 68 magic. Originally, I wanted to do this with 70 magic just for the extra plus 10 magic defense, but I, I couldn't be asked. I wanted to get this done. I've been stalling way too long to do this. And we did it. I'm excited, dude. All right, Clodian. Uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been fun watching you here, but we'll be back when we hit 75 magic. It's been a blast. Let's get on with our last task. Last and final task. And with that, the Winter Talad grind has officially commenced. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching this train wreck of a series. It means so much to me that y'all enjoyed it that very much. <laughs> and I, I will be taking a bit of a break. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back, but hopefully I'll be back in time. But the first thing I'll be doing when I do come back eventually, will be finishing off Monkey Madness 2 and claiming the quest cape on my alt for y'all on stream and then I'll probably take a two-week break off from that point and I'll focus on my friends reconnecting with them and making sure everybody's okay and then I will continue the winter tall grind and the final episode will be uploaded shortly after that I love y'all take care bye